हेलो स्टूडेंट ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस द वीडियो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सम ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर राइट हियर आई विल डिस्कस ऑल टाइप ऑफ द सम रिगार्डिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर एंड हियर इज द फर्स्ट सम टू रेजिस्टेंसेज ऑफ वैल्यू सिक्स ओम्स एंड ट्वेल्व ओम्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज ए क्रॉस ए बैटरी और पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस फिफ्ट ट्वेल्व वोल्ट राइट so first of all we have to draw the circuit diagram and second it is telling that electrical energy consumed in 2 minutes in each resistance and also the total energy supplied by the battery in 2 minutes right so uh, we will uh, i am going to give the solution of this sum and i will also discuss a uh, few more sums of electrical power right i am just going to draw the circuit diagram first right so it is the circuit diagrams now first i will write the data whatever is given so i will write solution one twenty second right therefore current i Equal to V by R total R, right? That is equal to 12 by 18 ampere. Six two ja, six three ja. That is equal to two by three ampere. Okay. Right. Therefore, electrical energy consumed by R one. R one, that is W one equal to I square R one T. Okay, this is equal to two by three whole square into six into one twenty watt second. Right, because this is watt. And this is second, so it is watt second, right? Then is equal to four by nine into six into one twenty nine three two ja six three four ja. This is become four two ja eighty three twenty joule. Okay, watt second is nothing but joule. So this is the electrical energy consumed by the R one, right? Similarly. Consumed by R two, that is W two equal to I square R two into T. It is become two by three whole square into twelve into one twenty watt second. Right. So it becomes four by nine into twelve into one twenty. Three three ja, okay. Three four ja joule because watt second is nothing but joule. Four four ja, sixteen sixteen four ja, zero joule, okay. Therefore, total electrical energy supplied by the battery. Right. So this is the nine hundred sixty total uh, energy supplied by the battery. Right. Now, what we do here, we. I'm going to connect these two resistances in parallel. Okay. Instead of series, we will 
connect these two resistance in parallel okay so what will happen in this case it will be very helpful uh, for observing the effect of the resistance in parallel circuit and in series circuit right right that means instead of connecting in series i have connected the two resistance in parallel now i will calculate the ener energy consumed by the 6 ohms resistors and energy consumed by the 12 ohm resistors and we will uh, calculate the value that means w1 in uh, two types right first of all we will take the formula like this uh, power equation equal to v square by r and we can also calculate power by i1 square r1 okay that means p1 for resistance p6 ohms okay so first of all i am using this formula therefore electrical energy consumed by r1 that means w1 equal to v square by r1 why v square because we know in parallel circuit the voltage across both the resistors are same okay across 6 ohms and across 12 ohms the resistance and the voltage is v that means here 12 volt right so we can apply this formula so what it becomes 12 square by 6 that means 144 by 6 and here into 120 because we have to multiply by time okay and if we calculate then we will obtain a value like this 2880 joule okay and we can also calculate the electrical energy consumed by the R1 in second way. Okay, I am showing here. Total current I equal to um, 12 by RP. That means the total resistance in parallel it can be calculated rp by this method we know the formula okay so it becomes 6 into 12 by 18 6 3 ja 18 3 4 ja 12 that is 4 ohms okay therefore current becomes 12 by 4 that means 3 ampere right and therefore i1 equal to we know the current division formula r2 by r1 plus r2 okay remember this one so it is 3 12 by 6 plus 12 so it becomes 3 into 12 by 18 3 6 18 6 2 12 2 ampere right therefore mm, w1 equal to i1 square r into t that is 2 square into 6 into 2 that is 4 480 into 6 right 2 to the 4 4 into 12 480 into 6 so it becomes uh, 600 6 48 64 48 joule right so the both value are same why I illustrated this method because uh, you have to be very confirmed about the process of finding the power by both method right but I uh, will advise you to 
prefer this method because we need not to go to find out the individual current by the division method okay so when it is not possible then you are not uh, uh, available with the parameter of the voltage and resistance then you can follow this method right similarly w2 equal to v square by r2 into t which is equal to 12 square divided by 12 into 120 joule that is 144 into 10 which is equal to 1440 joule okay therefore uh, total power consumption become w1 plus w2 this is equal to 2880 plus 1440 right so it becomes 4320 joule right so this is the total electrical energy supplied by the battery also right if we uh, we can say that the ele total electrical energy consumed by the resistor r uh, is this one that means this energy was supplied by the battery okay this is the third sum of the electrical power here the sum is that two bulbs l1 and l2 of rating 100 watt 200 volt and 10 watt 200 volt respectively right they are connected across a 200 volt supply in series right so first i want to calculate you have to calculate the current through each lamp and which bulb will consume more power right okay so first of all i am drawing the circuit here okay right so the bulb l1 and l2 are connected in series as shown here and their rating is like this okay so first of all <coughs> i will calculate the resistance of this l1 bulb and that of l2 bulb after that you will find the current flowing through the circuit okay because it is the required to find the current through each bulb so first of all resistance of right v square by pl1 which is equal to that means the resistance of the bulb that is i can say it r l1 okay that means r l1 equal to 400 ohms similarly <coughs> sorry right so it become 200 square divided by 10 right and ohms okay so the resistance r l1 okay this one is 400 ohms and this one is 4000 ohms okay now we can easily calculate the current I therefore 
करंट आई इक्वल टू वी बाई आर एल वन प्लस आर एल टू दैट इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई फोर हंड्रेड प्लस फोर थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड बाई राइट एम बी आर एंड इफ वी कैलकुलेट दिस we will get 0.45 ampere which is approximately equal to 0.5 ampere right so here is the first answer the 0.5 ampere current is flowing through each of the bulb right because they are connected in series so same current will flow right now the in the second part we want to know which bulb will consume more power this one or this one so as we know the power consumed by the bulb a that means pl1 equal to i can write i square rl1 because i square is same similarly power consumed by the second bulb pl2 i can write i square rl2 okay because we know P equal to I square R. We know this formula. I have applied same formula here. Okay. So what is uh, observed here? The current this one is same for both the bulb. That's why the RL2 and RL1 will uh, cause the difference. As RL2 is greater than RL1, therefore here we know. R L two is greater than R L one. Therefore, P L two will be greater than P L one. That means power consumed by the second bulb will be more than that of the first bulb. Therefore, we will write the answer. The right the second bulb will consume more power because the question is that which bulb will consume more power so our answer is complete here if the question is asked by how much then we will find the uh, quantity of uh, power uh, energy con uh, power consumed by the bulb right